Hey everybody, this is Dave here from CompleteEvo3D.com to do a quick review on the Olympus Trinity XC. I'm trying something a little new here and uh, I'm going to do it in the dark to hopefully help see the screen a little better. Um, as you can <coughs> see right off the bat, they got a uh, Beats Audio uh, lock screen widget there. When I got the ROM and installed it, cleared everything and uh, whatnot, it actually came with nothing on the uh, any of the screens. It's just all blank. So I went ahead and put the widget up there and a couple applications I downloaded. Um, so the the ROM moves fairly well. Um, I try to always follow their direction of resetting after seven minutes and resetting again after another seven minutes. I did notice since installing it, I was getting pretty good limb packing quadrant scores. Uh, my highest quadrant score is about 2,900. Um, and then after the first reset, um, I did the uh, quadrants and they got a little lower than the second reset. They seem to get even lower. I'm going to go ahead and run another one just to see what the lin packs on them are. Shouldn't take very long to run. 56, that's pretty good. Um, as far as the applications, start at the top, it goes page by page. It's not transparent, it's black. Um, see, I installed that Dolphin browser there. Got the gallery, the good flashlight. The mirror's been unlocked. It's got the uh, games as I've reviewed before. I'm kind of just doing the update as this is uh, their version 4. Um, they got the virtuous overclock right here. Uh, so you can just overclock right from here. I got it overclocked at the uh, max of 1836. Uh, I like the speeds better than uh, saving battery life um, just because I'm always near power supply. Um, as you just saw me you know, flip this around, it's moving really smooth. Um, the quadrant, when it's running its test, kind of throw me off because it seems like it's a little um, uh, jaggedy or whatnot, but uh, it did pretty well in the quadrant scores. You can see it's pull down notification, white screen with the recents at the top, and under the quick settings, it's the basic unlocked ones, um, auto brightness and whatnot. I'll show you the difference there. Just as of that. Uh, going into all settings, but uh, the total memory uh, with everything killed off. Yeah, I believe this is where it also helps because before I was running like 600 megs free or used um, until after I guess rebooted twice it was down about 350 free. Um, they do uh, do and I've gone over it before but they do got a lot of uh, 3D games in here and a lot of tweaks with the uh, navigation. Um, just to go over their change log from their, well, of course it closed out. I guess I just reset everything. Uh, their their change log going off of the XDA developers. Um, they of course added in the new uh, screen uh, widget, uh, the lock widget. Let's see where they are right here. Where? So anyways, uh, the ROM's been really nice. Like I said, I've gotten into the games before, and uh, I'm not going to go over their basic features, just more like the change log of the most recent one. They got the Ziggy's kernel. Um, let's see here. They fixed some issues with the forks closing on the overclock controls. Fix issue with the browser. They updated Google Talk and video chat. Um, they removed the Google videos as they now won't let you do it with rooted phones. Uh, Google Music, Gmail's been updated, and uh, sound files switched back to native EV, uh, Evo 3D architectures. Um, also, one of the things I, I mean, they kind of got in the settings you can see here is when you turn your phone, it's that 3D, it's got TV out. Um, nothing major in their settings. 
uh, none of those uh, certain tweaks but uh, they do have the TV out on here too so well, let me know what you guys think like I said it, it kind of came bare at first which is a little threw me off a little bit but uh, I guess I'll let you customize any way you like so let me know what you think and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like